Is it time to play an action RPG? Goddamn right it is. Uh, this is Ease, the Oath in Falcana. I assume that's how it's pronounced. Sounds good. Uh, this is an action RPG. Played a little bit of East games. I think like the third or the fourth one on SNES. Um, hmm. You know what? I've never played this game before, so we should definitely play it on Nightmare. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, no, almost good. Uh, nothing like a new RPG. Adol Christen. Ah. <laughs> Adol Christen. <laughs> Pretty sexual. From the time he left his homeland at age 16 to the final years of his life, he surrendered each and every day of his existence to fate, wandering the world in search of his next adventure. Stereotypical RPG man. His Peter exploits Quill. have been meticulously chronicled in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, detailing where he'd been, what he learned, and what he accomplished thereat. It's a bit of a humble brag, isn't These it? These are not tall tales, <laughs> but factual accounts. All right, all right, we get it. He's awesome. Each volume is comprised of a simple, honest assessment of events, with an emotional detachment hmm. that affords the reader a certain degree of personal interpretation. His swagger is the best. The Yet, despite Adol's dry and humble candor, all who read of these brave new worlds, these exotic landscapes and encounters, come away from the experience deeply affected. Like, how do you know that? Indeed, it is as if the reader is right there with him. <laughs> Look. Feeling just as he must have felt. Get on with it, man. We get it. He's done cool stuff in the past. The events I shall now recount took place a mere three years after Adol Kristin set out on his first adventure. So it's a prequel to now, but after the beginning? These accounts are known as the Felgana Archive. I invite you to take up Adol's sword as if it were your own, and allow yourself to become immersed within his words. Imagine, Imagine if, if you, you were, he. were he. Smashed the fourth wall. I do love that new RPG smell. Let's see if we get some voiceovers. the next seed game well at all ah. here we are this is felgana he's enthusiastic doggy oh who's your good doggy i was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day but i wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough some sailor you are man read the waves still this place does bring back memories hard to believe it's really been eight years since i left there's Margo, I always called her ma'am, <laughs> an old gardener. The gardener? Not to mention Chester and Elena. <laughs> Quit name dropping, man. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. I, it's an RPG, we can go talk to them if you want, man. Oh man, what the hell happened here? It appears to be a pile of rubble. This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. Hmm. Is that why the seas were, seas were rough? It's a relic of the old religion, from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. Shinto? I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. Mmm. Bored teens, probably. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there. Their um, sprites are interesting. <laughs> they kind of look like hobbits. Are they meant to be hobbits? Hey, wait up, Adol! Damn it, left behind again. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No way. A battle tutorial. You gotta be kidding me. What the hell are monsters doing in Felgana? Monsters? 
monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Looks like trying to find something to eat. Might be us. <laughs> Side hop. Chester. Yeah. <laughs> Basic actions. All right. Action RPG. Swing your sword. Immediately after coming to a stop. Default to circle. Jump, attack, got it. Attack during jumping. Attack on the way up. And attack on the way down. Got it. Hiya! Yep, got it. Bow. Sound effects cool. This game feels good. It's fast. Boost mode. Which is 100. Hit trying to Got it. Ooh, 10 consecutive hits. Oh. So what you're saying is get the boost mode. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. It's, good. it's a bit hack and slash, but moves well. Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. Ah, nothing to it. All you had to do is hit and just hit X. Let me show you how. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? My feelings. Thanks for asking. Hey! <laughs> Are you alright at all? Sure, I'm good. <laughs> Is his name really Doggy? Maybe it's Doggy. Either way, that's funny too. Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters too. Mm hmm. Doggy got attacked by the doggies, yeah. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty rude, man. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, man? Why would you assume that, man? You don't look like you're hurt, at least. No, nah, she's good. What about you? <laughs> Jeez. A gasp of... I... This screen. Huh? The best. What's wrong? Is something on my face? Am I, like, <laughs> covered in monster gore? <laughs> we should probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again. I can't say I recognize your face... You've got to live in Redmond, I figure. Dude, these assumptions. You haven't let her say a word. Dogi? Nope. Yeah, so it is Dogi. Uh, uh. I knew it. I must be dreaming. Dogi, you're actually back. I knew that was your loud mouth. What have you been doing all this time? Hey, hold on a second now. You don't know me like that. You obviously know me, but do I know you? How can you even say that? Yeah, that was pretty hurt. I'm kind of a big deal. Of course you know me. You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Wait, y'all are the same age? Then why do you look like a teenager and he looks Don't like a 30-year-old dude? Don't you dare tell me forgotten. Oh, no way! <laughs> He's got his Bruce Willis face on. Shut your mouth. When I last saw you, you were just a, a skinny little tomboy. Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. So, I mean, how old's Dogie? Man, you sure are. Whoa, Dogie. Dogie. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And, again... Thank you very much for your help. Really, it was nothing. It, it was the X button. My name is Elena. Hey, Elena. Are you going to be a party member? Or are you going to get kidnapped and we have to go save you? Elena Stoddart. Cutscene. Getting some weird flicker.
These are pillars. Nice visuals. Title card. That was a weird time for a title card. Oh well. So this is, I believe, the only East game that came out on the PSP. My apologies for my lack of knowledge on the East series in general. I do love me some RPGs, but never really played any of the East games. It's a good time to start. Very inspirational. A lot of pictures of castles. Oh, he's going to be a party member. Kind of looks like uh, Raphael from Soul Calibur. Who also excels at just hitting the X button and killing things. I do take issue with a lot of RPGs giving away story elements in the opening cutscene, um, but this one's kind of going the complete opposite way and giving us nothing. <laughs> Here's a necklace. Here's a window. <laughs> Here's the ground. And there's some dudes. That's a feather. It's the same feather from Final Fantasy VIII and Forrest Gump. Here's another castle. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the game engine. Solid looking RPG. Eleanor, where have you been? Her voice work is very well done. You had me worried sick. Staying out so late. Oh, I have to ask guard dude. Well, why'd you let her out in the first place? I'm sorry, Mr. Gardener. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Wait, the gardener's not the gardener? I mean, he could be. Dual roles and all that. Who am I to judge his life choices? I just... Uh, it's okay, Eleanor. As long as you're all right, we'll pretend this never happened. All right, you're, you're just enabling her bad behavior, man. She almost got eaten by dogs. So, who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. What? Everybody knows Dogi. He's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Look a little closer. <laughs> little closer. You'll get it in a second. Huh? Ooh. Hey there, Gardner! <laughs> so enthusiastic. He sounds like, um... Oh, what's his name? One of the dudes from Street Fighter. Still standing at the gate like always, I see. Wait! Dogi! <laughs> is... Is that really you? Everyone's so excited to see Dogi. No one really gives a shit about me. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I've been a little out of touch. Sorry. You know me. Tramping My around. My favorite little troublemaker has come home. Where have you been all this time? And what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing monsters, saving the world. The <laughs> usual. <laughs> Learning how to be humble. Anyway, I brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol. Introduce yourself. Adol? Adol introduced himself <laughs> to Gardner. I was wondering how they were going to get around the uh, silent protagonist. Just let the voiceover dude speak for him. Kind of like it, actually. An adventurer, eh? 
Well, that's certainly a rarity. Not really, man. It's an RPG. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, he's quite remarkable. Uh, Elena, come on. You're you're coming on a little strong. We just met. I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. <laughs> oh, swoon. Is that a fact? Hmm. Well then, you have my thanks, good sir. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That's the problem <laughs> with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. It's the hard thing about being a guard. <laughs> you just have to stand on guard. Does raise a point worth discussing, though. Why are there monsters here in the first place? Because there's no one out there to kill them. We'd heard rumors that Felgan has fallen on hard times. But I had no idea it gotten so bad. Believe, homie. Yeah, things certainly aren't looking up these days. I like his feather. Um, his helmet kind of looks like a, um, like a vegetable of some kind. Like he's wearing a cantaloupe. I guess it'd be a fruit, but yeah, you get it. It's been pretty bad for around a year now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore as a result. No travelers... No merchants. Gardner showing his age. No one comes to visit anymore. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I, I get the feeling that Dogie is um, a, a very poetic young man. <laughs> bro, that's lame. Is Dogie a bro? Dogie's definitely bro. Uh oh. That's our first dot dot dot. And then <laughs> the RPG trope. I'm sure we'll see many more. Well, it's getting late. You can tell me all about where you've been and what you've done come morning. I like the, uh, the moving animations on the sprites. For now, you should head on in and get some sleep. I bet you're exhausted after what you've been through. Hey, come on, man. You don't know my life. First city in an RPG. Run around and talk to everyone. Someone will give us a potion. <laughs> this place sure hasn't changed much either. I used to live and work at this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. I mean, like monetarily? Because you just up and disappeared apparently for years, man. Hey, Elena, go get Chester, would you? <laughs> Quit name dropping Chester, who is he? I haven't seen him in so long, and we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. <laughs> yep, dot 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 number two. I'm sorry, he's not in town right now. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Bro. Oh well, what can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. Deuces. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. Yep, we'll be chilling. We're probably gonna hang out a little before we go to bed. <laughs> I do not want you putting anything on my calendar, Dogie. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? Alright, that's her living situation. That's none of your damn business. Oh no, he and I have a house on the edge of town now. We moved to the suburbs. Crime right in town was just, just too much. It's just... Better school district. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Taxes are high. Oh, it's nothing, really. I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol, and good to see you again, Dogi. Who's a good Dogi? I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please, take it easy and get some rest, okay? Bye. She's acting.
feeling kind of strange. Eh, probably just been a rough day for her. Man, though, she sure has filled out nicely. Dogie. And she's got that whole childhood friend thing going <laughs> for her, too. <laughs> Can I just kick Dogie out of my party right now? <laughs> I do not like where this is going. Who am I kidding, though? She's gonna fall for you, not for me. What? That's always how it goes. Uh, let's just get inside. <sighs> All right. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end the, the first episode. Uh, hopefully next time uh, we can teach Dogie a little tact. Um, <laughs> or maybe he'll slam some more Monster Energy drinks and make more inappropriate comments about teenage girls. Uh, who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> Later.